There is more than me. Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my weekly makeup video, my Shop My Stash series. Um, usually if I don't put these videos up on Sunday, they usually are up on Monday. So hope you guys are having a wonderful Monday. I am feeling a little bit better. I just took a shower, feel like a baby, all clean. And yes, I'm wearing a scarf at home as well as still drinking some tea so that I can continuously start feeling better and better. Um, I wanted to speak to you guys about this adorable shirt and scarf, actually. Octoly recently sent it over, and I thought it was really cute for, like, the holidays. It's just, like, really, like, cozy and delicious and warm. Um, so I will go ahead and have a link down below. It's from the brand Packed Organic, and I think that they're made with 100%, like good stuff <laughs> you know what i mean like i actually think it's an all natural like clothing company which is insane and amazing to think of so i do really like this it's like perfect especially if you're sick also i want to just randomly show you my fuzzy sock that i picked up from tj maxx aren't they the cutest and they have these things in the bottom so i don't like slip and slide in my own home also i recently did a room tour video i put it up yesterday so if you guys missed out on that then i did show you all the goodness that goes on in this place but um Let's go ahead and get started with everything that I'm going to use for this week. Really, really excited. I'm not sure what I have in mind, but um, I think it's going to be fun. Also, my Ulta stuff came, so I plan on doing a haul very, very soon. Okay, let's go. So here's another week of Shop My Stash. Um, I put some of my oils over here, actually, pretty much all of my oils here. I find that when I store them like this, it's just easier in a way where, basically, um, they just don't spill. Because I feel like this kind of leaks through like the lid, and I don't want that to happen with these two guys. So they're just going to be chilling here for now till I find a better home for them. But I recently purchased this Milani Camellia one. I used it on my face today. I really like it. I think I like this one the most from all of them, but they're all pretty nice. I think I'm going to continue using this one for this week because um, this one is really expensive and this one is like a fraction of the cost. So if this one is as good as this, and I would love to recommend this to you guys, but I still want to play around with it a little bit more. So I'm going to use that. Then for my foundations, I'm going to use the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. This is literally on its last leg. I think I have to go ahead and purchase another one. I think I have maybe two more uses out of this. Like literally, like it's the kind of product that just never wants to end, like never wants to finish. But um, I do think that I have like two more uses. Like this feels very, very light. I love this. It's what I'm wearing on my face in conjunction with something else. And I love the finish it gives. Even though it does say here it's a matte finish, I still find that it's pretty, like it's nice for my dry skin. And then, in conjunction with an oil, it's like a match made in heaven, you know? So I'm going to use those two guys. As well as this YSL Touche Eclat All-in-One Glow, kind of like tinted moisturizer slash BB cream. This is the best. Like, no questions asked. The best of the best of, of life to exist. So, first of all, it has a pump to it. I used to use this a ton in the summertime when I was a little bit more like deeper in tone like skin tone But now I'm pretty fair. So it just it looks very off like on my face is fine I blend it out to my neck and it's okay, but then like compared to my hands. It's like uh, no So what I did today is I mixed some of this with the covergirl one and it's a really great combination And it's also a great way for me to use this because I do love it and I don't want to wait till next summer to use it You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna use this for now probably purchase a different color one of these days But I love this I have to continue using it it's so amazing as for concealers, um, I constantly use the CoverGirl one or the First Aid Beauty one because those are just like my two favorite, I'm not going to lie. And then the YSL one is also very nice. But, and you know what, I don't even have like a bunch of other ones. I just pretty much just have a lot of the First Aid Beauty ones and the CoverGirl ones. But let me use this. This is the Ulta Full Coverage Liquid Concealer. It's a little bit too yellow than what I'm used to. That's probably why I don't pick it out like often. Um, so then I'm going to probably use it with this too because this is very, very, very like white and pale. Oh my gosh, it's just like going bad. Yeah, this one is also on its last leg, almost done. So I think that these two would work well. I want to try to use products that I don't typically, typically use, you know? Although I say the same thing every time. <laughs> but yeah. Moving on to my primers. Also with this drawer, I've actually been using this a lot. This is the First Aid Beauty uh, Kona Eye Stick. It's just a really nice hydrating eye stick that I like to use under my eye area. I used it today and I forgot how much I really love it. So I'm going to pull it out again for this week to use because it is delicious on. So hydrating, especially now that I'm not feeling 100%. Um, it's, really, it's really nice. As for actual primers... Um... You know, I'm addicted to this one. Let's use one that I didn't do for ages, like in literal ages, okay? 
Okay, I don't, I don't think that I used this one in literal ages. This is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. So that's probably why I didn't use it in ages. is because it's the Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. And my face is very, very dry. So I remember actually when I used this a few months back, I was like, uh, no. Because it really like, I felt like it kind of just sucked the daylight out of my face. I'm going to try to use it for this week to see if I could kind of twerk things up and see if I could make it work for my skin. Um... So we'll see for this week and I guess that'll determine if I'm going to keep this or just give it to someone who does have oily skin because maybe it's just not for me, you know? Anyways, I'm going to pull that out. I think that's pretty much it. No, wait. Let's also use this just in case. That one is not good. This is the Maybelline Master Prime um, Hydrate Plus Smooth Primer. This is beautiful if you have uh, dry skin. So, all right. Next rule. Here is where I have my bronzers i have been using my hourglass one you guys know i've used the essence one last week which is beautiful on the skin um but for this week i'm going to use the laura geller one this is one of my favorites it's probably going to be in my 2018 like favorite bronzers of the year so i had a small deluxe size pretty much finished that one almost i think and now i have this full size it's in the shade 03 they have shade 01 2 three and four this is beautiful it's the kind of bronzer that you could build up and it's never going to look heavy it just looks very clean and fresh and just delish so i'm going to use that i think that's it um like while i'm talking i'm like thinking yes or no maybe so um okay we're done here um, next drawer is where I keep my blushes and if you guys watched my drugstore like um, scavenger hunt this week slash haul I uploaded it a few days ago um, I showed you guys that I purchased these two guys from Walgreens so these are the Milani um, blush trios this one right here is in flowers of love so beautiful so here's how this one looks I feel like this would be great if you have light to medium skin tones I think it's so beautiful I love that one right over there that, that like raspberry color and this one would be wonderful if you have medium to deep skin tones um, I, I obviously did not know which one to purchase I just bought both of them but I'm so thrilled for these guys because I love their singular um, like for example I love their like full-size flower blushes so I, I knew that I would probably enjoy these I haven't used them necessarily yet on my face but I swatched them and they seem very nice very soft and i feel like they would be great blushes to build up i also really love the packaging it's just very cutesy and pretty and adorable very excited it's pretty much it for blushes now let's move on to highlighters i, I always have an issue choosing out highlighters because i'm just kind of like i don't know um i think i'm gonna use one of these guys this is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in Moonlight, and it's really beautiful to pair with a powder like highlighter. So it's great to put this and then go in with a powder highlighter to give that like bam highlighter effect, you know? So pretty. I haven't used that in a while, so I'm gonna pick that out. Um, as well as, let's open this drawer. Let's use one of these guys. Maybe not with that because I feel like it's just going to be a blob of messiness because this has more of like a super shock highlighter feel. I haven't used this in ages and it's really nice and soft. It's in the shade uh, Pearl. Stunning, stunning color. I love the embossment here. Physicians Formula is coming out with the A Butter uh, Eyeshadow Palette. I'm so excited for that because I do enjoy the butter line. So we'll pull this out and then I'm going to take out one more just because um, let's use this this is the estee lauder highlighter in heat wave i really really like this initially when i purchased it i'm like oh my gosh is this gonna work for me but honestly it does it works beautiful even though it isn't a gold color it still sits beautifully on the skin and even if i go heavy-handed i think it still looks pretty good unless you're really really close to me you're kind of, it's gonna be like new no. but i mean like if you're like a foot away it's like wow what highlighter are you wearing and so i'm gonna pull this out as well very excited all right for eyeshadow palettes I used these two guys last week, not all of the colors, but a few in each palette, and I really do like them. This performs, I think, better than the Emerald palette, and this, I mean, I've only used the matte so far, but let me tell you, I actually also used this one, which isn't a matte, but that's the only, like, shimmer shade I use now, I remember, but let me tell you, this is definitely 100% better than the Lemonade Craze eyeshadow palette, for sure, so if you're contemplating on any of them, this is, I think, much better in quality, and then, honestly, I do like the shades in here much more. I'm gonna pull these guys out just in case I want to kind of use them a little bit more and I still want to do a look with them um, And then I'm gonna also use I'm thinking I'm thinking and I'm thinking um, I want to use this. Okay. I want to just use it. I love it. I love it It's like one of my favorite palettes ever This was in my top five favorite palettes of 2018 which I made that video back in the summertime I love this palette. It's amazing. And Lime Crime has been having really, really bomb deals lately. So I'm sure you were able to pick this up for a much more affordable price tag. It's such a good 
go-to palette even for every day so beautiful the mattes in here are creamy blend like a dream and then the metallic shimmery shades are so nice too probably my favorite lime crime palette not probably i think it is my favorite lime palette <laughs> um okay that's pretty much it for this drawer i don't believe i need anything from here because i already chose out these two guys so we're just gonna close this here is where i keep my larger palettes you guys already know i don't need anything from here here is my lip products but i think i'm going to choose something from my shelves i think i know what i want if i'm not mistaken maybe yeah i don't know we'll see um empty drawer powders okay so this is going to be kind of repetitive but i can't live without this i just love it i love it it's the best i just purchased another one from ulta but this is the covergirl by Less healthy powder i'm going to use that along with the fit me um loose setting powder from um maybelline what i haven't used this in a long time it's a little bit thicker in consistency than like the laura mercier loose gentles and setting powder or like the hourglass one but i still think it works very well and it bakes nicely so i'm going to use this too i think that's pretty much it in regards to this drawer yeah yeah okay and then moving on to mascara's bra products um so I didn't want to pull this out before I did my haul, but I just miss it too much. And it's just the best of the best. And I don't want to use any other brow product, okay? I just don't want to. So this is the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Microfine Defined Brow Pencil. I picked mine up in the shade Rich Brown. I picked up four of these, okay? Four to show you guys how obsessed I am. The best drugstore brow pencil, in my opinion. I love this. So this is what I'm going to use mainly. I like to line my brows out with that and then fill them in too. And then for brow gel i'm just gonna use the abh one which is just a tried and true for me and honestly i can literally get rid of everything else in here maybe just not this and this and one or two things but everything else i just don't really use so i mean once i have the, the cover girl one in my life well you guys could say goodbye <laughs> and you're kind of like wait this is also cover girl but this is lighter okay then as for mascara i'm not sure which one i want to use for this week this is one i had to probably think about i actually haven't used these two in a very very long time these are the Essence. So this is the Curl and Hold Mascara, and this one is the Lash Extension Mascara. I purchased this a few months back, used it a few times, forgot what I think about them. So I want to use them again because they are bulky, and if I like them, I want to keep them. If not, then like they shouldn't be in my drawers, you know what I mean? It looks so cute, the packaging, so I need to play around with it a little bit more. So I had this nail polish like right in front of my face, and I'm like, let me just show it to you guys. This is from Sally Hansen. I picked it up from TJ Maxx recently. Um, it was $2.99. It's in the shade Smoky Emerald. Beautiful formula. This was with two coats, and it applied really, really nicely. With one coat, it looks terrible. But with the second coat, it's like day and night, I'm telling you. It's so, so beautiful. So I would definitely recommend this line and this color in general if you see it. But look, you could see sparkles in there. It's really beautiful. Okay, then moving over to this section of goals. Um, I need to choose an eyeliner. I actually recently gave my mother like 10 eyeliners. So I have less in here, which is fine. This is uh, more than enough. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild one. I really love this. It's black and beautiful. I also recently purchased the Essence one, which you guys will see in my Ulta haul. Um, and then as for setting sprays, I use the Tony Moly one last week and I like it a lot. It just reminded me of how much I enjoy it. So I'm going to continue using it for this week. And then for, I think I'm going to use this too. Because my skin has been just so dry lately. Also since I'm not like feeling the best, I feel like it's been sucking the day life out of me and like my skin is like peeling dryness. Not everywhere but like by my chin area and like some other places and I'm like what? So maybe this will be something that will help. I actually want to spray some on my face now but I'm going to use that. Um, and then I'm going to use maybe the CoverGirl one too. I want to do a full face of CoverGirl hopefully in the next week or so. So this will be one that I'll be using for this week, probably next week as well. I don't think I want to choose out any lip liners. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much it. Maybe I'll use one of these Stila Glitter and Glows. I haven't used these guys in a while, okay? T to say the least. Um, maybe this one. Yeah, let's use Kitten Karma. It's such a beautiful champagne-y color. I love using this actually with the Lime Crime Venus XL palette. It it appears so nicely. Love it. Okay, and I think that's pretty much it for here. For lip products, let's see. I actually haven't used these in a very, very, very long time. These are the Revlon um, Plumping Lip Cremes. So, I'm going to use this one in the shade 510. I did a lip swatch video on these guys last year. But I'm also going to use one of these. These are the Pop Beauty um topper poppers they're so nice they sent it to me a while ago i just never had a chance to use them and i think it'll look so pretty on so yeah let's just take all of them <laughs> i don't know they come in various different colors probably gonna focus on this one mainly because it's so pretty but maybe on their own i'll wear them or on top of something okay i think we're good on lip products but just in case let's choose this one as well 
because I just purchased this during the VIB sale and I want to get my use out of it because I know myself. If I'm not going to like constantly use it, this is going to stay here for a year. <laughs> Not really, but you know what I'm saying? Maybe on top of a like matte liquid lips, which I didn't actually choose one for this week, but or on its own, you know, we'll see. As for makeup removing wipes, I'm gonna use these Labucha ones. I recently purchased a few from um, the Yes2 brand, which I mentioned last week. So once I do my Ulta haul, I'll uh, start using them. So hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to use them for starting next week because these are just like, okay. And I'm not like dying over them, just to be honest with you. For swatches, they're good, but like I need, I need good ones for my face, not just for swatching. Okay, so that's pretty Pretty much it that is everything that i'm going to be using for the week i have some stuff over here i still have to empty this box out from last week but and then put my stuff from this week in here and then i also have some stuff over here as well um oh and then also i just stepped on something i'm like what did i step on i stepped on my palettes before i go actually a bunch of you guys asked me to do a in-depth um perfume collection video which i do want to do you guys can see the lighting is pretty hot at the moment and i don't always always have this so i have to wait for the sun to always be out and lately it's been really gloomy outside except for like today like randomly like the sun comes out for like 10 minutes and then goodbye so um this is on my agenda to do hopefully still by the end of this year like before 2019 i hope you guys enjoyed this video whoa <laughs> and i hope you enjoyed seeing everything that i picked up for this week i would absolutely love to know if there are any exciting products you guys are going to be using for this week before i go i didn't know where i should I didn't know where i should mention this but i did want to speak about it to you guys um octoly recently sent this over so i mean it's not sponsored or anything yeah, but i do really really like it it's a body cream from the brand Hara, I think I'm not sure I'll leave a link down below but I want to show you guys how much I finished off because usually with body butters and creams I suck at using them but especially now since I was kind of sick I was kind of lathering up my body with this and I feel like a baby like a baby with his clothes and then this yeah my triple size foot is gonna be in this um, uh, scene, but here's how much is left. I really love this. The consistency is very, very smooth and soft, like very whipped and just delicious. It has a thick texture to it, but it moisturizes so crazily amazing and it smells it smells like heaven. It just smells like heaven. So I would really recommend this if you guys are looking for a wonderful um, body butter. I'm gonna go wipe off my hands now, but I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.